boys and girls, babies in your diapers. Welcome to the Tiberius Show with your host, Tiberius Boy. Today, we are going to talk about some very awesome stuff. We have an interesting video game to talk about, a book about a kid named Lil Jimmy, my bone school report, and we got a totally awesome guest, the one, the only, the amazing Lil Jimmy. Lil Jimmy is the subject of today's book of the week and a professional rapper. Well, what's up, Mr. Tiberius? Thanks for letting me on your show today. Yo. Man, I'm telling you, you're an inspiration. Thanks. Today, we're going to start off with a video game of the week, and this is going to be a gas. And now it's time for the video game of the week. Today's video game is Gas Station Simulator. So this is a game on the Roblox platform. It was made by Just For Fun. Because it is on Roblox, you are able to play it on PC, Mac, Xbox, and even your cell phone. And it is free. You may remember some of the other games like Viral or Parkour Simulator and Combat Tycoon. So in this game, you start off with a small gas pump and a tank along with a single gas pump for cars to drive up to. Then you can either take care of the car by pouring gas into their tank or you can hire someone to do it for you. After you earn enough, you can buy more tanks and pumps to be able to service more people that you need that need gas. After you do some research, you can not only sell gas, but eat power and hydro fuel as well. Of course, these resources has much more expensive pumps and tankers. But as you earn more money, you can sell back your old stuff and start selling with the new stuff. I give Gas Station Simulator 9 out of 10 stars because it's a pretty fun simulator game and I got my dad to try it and I smoked him. I had over 3 million and my dad just got over 250k in the game. What? Um, this, this game sounds like, like the Sim City of gasoline pumps. Is that what it's like? Uh, I don't know what that game is. Sim City is like where you build a whole city. You start out with nothing, you build a city, and you get money and stuff like that. It sounds like that with gasoline. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I want to play that game. See, David Smith, law.com. You can call him at 407-801-2667. Wait, you are not Chuck. My dad can help when people get hurt. He loves to help people. If you are ever injured at work or in a car accident, you should call my friend Chuck. You can call him at 407-801-2667. That website again is cwsmithwall.com. Offices, Orlando. Does it actually have that much W's? <laughs> Mid-State Fire has been providing top quality fire equipment services for three generations to the Central Florida area. Don't wait for an emergency to repair. Call Mid-State Fire today at 407-246-8855. Get your fire extinguishers and emergency lighting for both your home and businesses by visiting www.midstatefire.com. That number again is 407-246-8855. And now it's time for the book of the week, Little Jimmy, I Was Being Told. This book is written by Phil Williams. Well, let me read to the back of the book. Okay, Little Jimmy, this book is about you. Do you want to do the honors? Me, I'd be honored. Thanks, Tiberius. It says, Little Jimmy was having one of those dreams that was so good that he wanted to spend the rest of the day making it come true. And that's where the drama begins. The funny thing is, what is happening to Little Jimmy is happening to people every day. A couple of easy things can bring this issue to a screeching halt. Read this and let's make sure that this doesn't happen to you or another person like it did to Lil Jimmy. Thanks. So first off, this is not an AR book, but it still is a good book. It is about a kid named Lil Jimmy that woke up from a dream and was being told things that was not really good for him. He was being told to sleep in and the radio told him to party all the time. The guys on the way to school told him to skip school and earn fast money. After a while, somebody threatened little Jimmy and told him to unlock a window to the bathroom of the church and he goes for Bible study. 
Little Jimmy did not do it, but ran to check on it. And when he climbed up to the windows, the police told him to freeze and arrested him for breaking into the church. Even though that he did not do it, he was sent to juvie. That's the place where kids go when they get into trouble. So after deciding not to listen to any more bad voices, little Jimmy remembered his dream of one day being the president of the United States, just like Obama, the first black president of the United States. Little Jimmy decided that he was going to listen to the good voices and not listen to all the other voices telling him things that did not advance his dreams. Well, I guess little Jimmy, I was being told 10 out of 10 stars because I enjoyed that little Jimmy learned how to think positive things. Wow. And it also helps that little Jimmy is sitting right next to me. You're a pretty good subject. Oh, and you can find this book on Amazon. Wow. Man, you know what? Um, can I hire you to be my book review guy? Because you are awesome. <laughs> wow. Okay. You make me want to go read my own book. <laughs> Ted Beard Show would like to thank one of our awesome sponsors, SlotChannelUS.com. These guys are very, very cool. They bring 21st century surface drainage solutions to reality. They can do corporate and government work. These are the guys that make roads and bridges safe in the rain. You can see all about them at SlotChannelUS.com. That website again is SlotChannelUS.com. The Type View Show would like to thank one of our dedicated sponsors, Custom Designs Orlando. These guys are on Mills Avenue and do all sorts of stuff, ranging from photo ID badges, engraved signs, custom braille ADA signs, vinyl littering, to trophies and awards. They can ship products all over the United States. You can reach them at 407 898 and now it's time for our interview of an interesting person. Today's guests are going to be so much fun. Today, we have the one, the only, the amazing, Leo Jimmy! Wow, where's this amazing guy at? I don't know what he's asking. because that guy sounds amazing. <laughs> Little Jimmy is a rapping, learning, helping kid that loves basketball. Wow, yep, I do. Man, I got a pretty cool jump shot. I had to show you the video one day. I was with the Atlanta Hawks down in Atlanta, and, right. and you know the bird and everything like that. And I was out shooting them, man. I, I thought I could have made the team, but I think they was like a little jealous because um I had better shoes than they had. <laughs> okay, so first off, yeah. how are you enjoying being on the show? Man, do I? Man, this is like moving to like one of the top three things I've ever done. I mean, you're incredible, man. Thank you so so much. You're welcome. So then jump right in. Your bio says you are a positive rapper. Yes, sir. What does that mean? Well, what it means is there's there's people that rap and they say that they don't curse in their songs. And a lot of people think that's positive, but it's not. And so when I think of positive is I don't say anything that's negative. So I don't brag about my clothes. I don't brag about money. I don't curse, I don't do anything, I only talk, rap positive, and it's something that helps people do positive things, and so that's what that means for me to be a positive rapper, not just a person who doesn't cuss, because you can be negative and not curse in your songs, you can sell, you can get people in trouble, you can tell people to do dope, and you don't have to cuss in order to do that, but me, I never say anything negative, and my motto is, Start, stay, finish, always positive. Mm -hmm. So, why did you get interested in becoming a rapper in the first place? Well, what happened, when I was adopted by my grandfather, he was out promoting a, a record. My grandfather retired from rap when it was positive. But now that it's got all negative, he's came out of retirement to bring discipline back to the music. And so when I was touring with him, he was promoting his album called Don't Make Me Take Off My Belt. And he was like trying to tell the, the gangster rappers that I bend you over my knee and spank you because you're being bad. And so, and then, so when I see my grandfather rapping positive like that, I said, I want to do rap music like that and rap for 
people my age group and try to get them to be positive. And so that's what started it. Hmm. Wow. So it says one of your heroes is DJ Positivity. How did you get to meet him? Well, DJ Positivity was at a show that I was doing and I was rapping positive, but then some other kids was trying to get me to do a freestyle battle and they was being negative and I almost thought about rapping like they were. And then he came over and he said, I don't think that's good for you to rap negative. So let me help be your DJ. And whenever you think you're going to get off track, I'm going to be your DJ positivity and try to help you stay on track. And so that's how I met him. Wow. So it says in your bio that you like rapping, learning, helping, and basketball. Which do you like the best? I like helping the best. Mm -hmm. And because I like helping, all those other things become even more fun. So I help when I'm rapping. I'm helping when I play basketball. It might help, might mess up some people's ankles when I shake them up. But you know, <laughs> it's kind of cool. But I'm, in everything that I do, I always get to help. And that's the one thing that's common, so it makes it just so, so much fun to help. Mm -hmm. So you are 12 right now. What grade are you in? I'm in the sixth grade. Ooh, I'm getting close to your grade. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yep. But then, you know, being in the sixth grade is, is really easy when you're being positive. You know, you got to focus on your schoolwork and everything like that. But it's a, it's a very cool grade to be in because... I'm just coming out of elementary school, and I'm getting prepared to go to high school. And for me, it turned out to be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. So what is your favorite subject in school? Well, I'm going to have to say it's math. Because I just, I just, it's a, it's a rhythm. I noticed that there's a rhythm in doing math problems. And since I like music and stuff like that, it just became like one of my favorite subjects. Things just adding up and multiplying and dividing. I just really like it. I think it's fun. Wow. So your grandfather helps you with some of the rap. Do you write all your own songs? Right now, yes, I do. And um, because what my grandfather taught me, and a, and a lot of people when I was growing up, they always taught me to learn a new word every day. And so when I learn new words, and I learn the definition of those words, it just makes it so much fun when I'm doing my rap because I can always add those new words and bring something positive with the new words. So I can sing most of the songs from the musicals The Greatest Showman in Hamilton. Do you know all your songs by heart? No, sir. <laughs> I have a lot of songs. I have over 260 songs. And no, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know them all by heart. Okay. But I take them all too hard, <laughs> if, that, if that's good. Mm -hmm. So, of all of your songs, which is your favorite? I don't know. There's a, there's a song that I like to perform, and it's it's called I'm Snitching. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, in, in the community, when there's negativity, they always try to get you to not be a snitch and, and not tattle or not tell on the criminals that's doing things bad in the community. And so when I made that song, I'm a snitch, or I'm snitching, it became one of my favorite songs. Okay, so can we hear it? I, I'll, do, I'll do just a little, I'll do a chorus and a verse. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm telling, I'm snitching. I want to be a part of my community switching. I'm tired of seeing my neighborhood falling because of drug dealing and killing, and you're scaring all the people from calling 911. You know what happens when you don't tell the authorities about the drugs and the guns? You're helping them kill us. If we start telling and snitching, then the criminals will feel us. I don't get it. How do you get so committed to something with bullets in it and so eager to spit it and spin it like there's nothing else to spin on the table or put on cable? But a thug and gangster fable is killing brothers like Cain did Abel. Since our women are caught up in it, it's like Jane killed Mabel. You try to tell me? The only thing capable is make a woman look rapable, a ghetto's unscapable. I ain't buying it and I ain't gonna sell it. I ain't afraid of being a snitch. If it's bad, I'm gonna tell it. Cause you ain't getting away with killing kids that look like me. They can get positive recipes and learn to cook it like me. 
That's food we need in the community, not fools with pistols soon to be wooing me to be part of the clique just to put my mouth on zip. Before they get you, you better go and snitch. I'm telling, I'm snitching. Wow. Thank you. So, I talk about being lion strong to have a positive influence on others. Which positive message do you like talking about the most? Being respectful. Being respectful to your parents. Being respectful to yourself. Being respectful in your community. Being respectful at school. And so, if I was to take your line, lion strong, I'm going to be strong like a lion and be respectful. Mm -hmm. So what is the biggest mistake you ever made? And how did it change you as a person? That's a good one. Um, wow. Talk about a gotcha. Let me see, the biggest mistake, because I made a lot of mistakes, so I'm just trying to figure out which one was the biggest. I guess the best way for me to know which one was the biggest was which one I got the worst spanking for. <laughs> and I think that the worst spanking I ever got is when I told a lie to my grandpa and I didn't tell the truth. And I got a pretty big spanking for that because he was always telling me that you have to be truthful even if you don't win because if you're not truthful you really lose in the end thinking that you're winning and that spanking that he gave me kind of helped me understand that that was a big mistake telling the lie to somebody who loves me and takes care of me and just wants the best for me hmm. okay so what is your favorite book there's a book that my grandpa gave me a long time ago it's called the adventures of the Black Hand Gang. And it's just a funny, it's a it's a cool little adventure book. And I, I really like that book a lot. Hmm. Okay, okay. Now can you tell me that one story? You know, remember, this is a kid's show. But that one story, well, that you're not supposed to tell me about. Come on, you can tell me. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I told you it was hot in here, right? <laughs> That's a good one. That one story I'm not supposed to tell you about. Wow. You said it's a kid show, right? Uh-huh. Are we, you, you kidding? Yep. <laughs> wow. That one story I'm not supposed to tell you about. Okay. One day, my grandpa, he was laughing so hard. He just got finished doing a dietary change. He was changing his diet. And he was laughing so hard that he pooped on himself. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to tell about that, but you put me on the spot. So, Grandpa, if you're listening, he made me do it. It wasn't me. Tiberius made me do it. <laughs> but, yeah, that, that's the one story. Uh, okay. Is there anything else you think my listeners should know about you? Well, you know, just just start, stay, finish, always positive is my motto. And I just think that if you start out positive and you stay positive, you'll finish positive. And I really, really, really work hard at doing that. And then I put that kind of feeling into every song that I make, every show that I do, every school I go to, every church I go to, any community event I go to, and even... I pray that I was doing that even right here on your show. Just being positive, and we can have fun being positive. And, um, and you'll get me in trouble with that question about that I should have told, but it was still positive. But, you know, that's just me. Little Jimmy, I just want to be an instrumental part of my community. I want to break all the stereotypes that they have of rappers and, and young people and... I just, I love you, I love your show, I love everything you're doing, I love the world, I love Florida, I love Atlanta, I love your producer, I love my producer, I just, I love my church, I love my pastor, and that's what they need to know about me. Do you have a website or Facebook for my listeners to want to follow you? Sure, my website is liljimmydjpaws.jimdo.com, and my Facebook is Jimmy Lil Jimmy Williams. 
And that's L I L Jimmy, not little, but little Jimmy. Mm hmm. Okay, so what is that one question that you think I forgot to ask you? How much do I get paid for this interview? <laughs> now, I'll be honest with you. You did such a great job. I think um, you got me in trouble with my grandpa. You got me in trouble with people I work with. I think my pastor's going to pray for me more. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to come back on your show. <laughs> um, I think you did a good job, man. You're, you're going to grow up to really make a lot of people happy and mad at the same time so you're on the right track buddy thank you little jimmy for being my special guest can you stick around for math corners oh boy yeah i can do it for you Over 40 years playhouse central florida has provided education independent life skills and job training to thousands of Central Floridians who live with blindness or any degree of vision loss. Whether it's picking out clothes in the morning or just moving around your community and serving Orange, Seminole, and Osceola counties, contact White House Central Florida at 407 898 2483 or visit them online at lighthousecfl.org. The Tribea Show would like to thank Boggy Creek Air Road Adventures for being one of our sponsors. I got to go on an air belt and saw a real gator. I even got to go to the gem mine and mine for some gems. We ate a steak dinner at the restaurant and even got some gator rights. If you want to have a blast with the entire family, I suggest you go to www.bcairboats.com right now to get your tickets today. The website again is bcairboats.com. Oak Ridge Gun Range is a family-oriented shooting range that has been in business for over 30 years. They specialize in basic firearm training and offer numerous services such as consignments, gun trades, gunsmithing, and concealed weapon classes. I even got my training for gun safety at Oak Ridge Gun Range. Great customer service and firearm safety is what they do best. So find out more at OakRidgeGunRange.com. Get ready, it's time for the Bowling Score Report. Okay, so guess what? I did get to go bowling, and I got a 94, a 114, and a 139 in the final game. Wow. Hey, you know how to bowl like that? Yeah. Wow. Yes, sir. That's good. You don't have the bumpers on there? You got to... Nope, not at all. Is it like you can throw the ball backwards and then forwards, or you roll it with two yep. hands? What? a two-hander. Whoa. I go like this, and then I spin. You can spin the ball, too? Yeah, I spin the ball. I mean, I... That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, because my series was over 300, I got to play Hyperduck with my dad, and we did two games. We had some fans visit and played Hyperduck with me. It was a lot of fun. So, if you want to go bowling with me, be sure to join me at the new Fall League of Boardwalk Bowling Saturdays at 10 a.m. in the morning, bro. Tiberius's favorite subject, it's Math Corners! Thank you, little Jimmy, for helping me with Math Corners. Today, we're going to talk about turning decimals into mixed numbers. So, I have been doing my Excel that call math exercises, and we got into decimals and mixed numbers. This is a way into turning a decimal into a mixed number so that we can see it as a fraction and do different kinds of math with it. So let's say we have 3.25 as our decimal number. So first off, you deal with any whole numbers. This is the numbers that are to the left of the decimal point. Right. That is written down first. So we write down the 3. Then yep. you rewrite the decimal as a fraction, like 0.25 over 1. Since it is 0.25 is in the hundredth place, then you can multiply it by 100 and get 25 over 100. And I can simplify the fraction to the lowest form, which would be divided by 25 and get 1 quarter. So now you can use the 3 and 1 fourth in our fraction problem. So let's try one more. 6.89. Now you start with the whole number and write down the 6. Then you, then you take the 0.89 
and you times it by 100, making it 89 over 100, yep. and then you simplify. Since it has already been simplified, your answer is 6 and 89 over 100. So, hello, Jimmy. Do you now know all about how to take the decimals and convert it into a mixed number? Yep. You know what? You did a very, very good job of explaining it. Thanks. That's very, very good. But now, nah, I'm not going to trick you like you tricked me. Aww. That's a good job, buddy. Good job. I'm going to spare it because I was about to give you a math question. Really? Go ahead. You think you did? Okay, you, you ready? Yeah. What do you get when you take the perpendicular angle bisector to the congruency of the isosceles triangle theorem and the multiplicative additional factor of pi? Gotcha! <laughs> you know what okay, you get? only fourth grade math, bullet. <laughs> I got you. But you know what the answer to it is? What? Absolutely nothing. It was a bunch of mumbo jumbo. <laughs> but it sounded cool, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Lou Jimmy, for your help with Math Corner. Thank you, Tiberius, for having me. You're welcome. And now it's time for our Heart of a Lion. As you know, we talk about the qualities of living by a Heart of a Lion, which stands for leadership, integrity, obedience, and ability. This week, we're going to talk about integrity. For me, I think integrity is doing what is right even when no one else is looking. The qualities of integrity is honesty, sincerity, truthfulness, and fairness. Well, I still really don't like going to bed. I'm supposed to read 20 minutes a day when I go to bed, but I'm having trouble with it. I did do it correctly in order to read the book of the week, but sometimes I don't always read the entire book. I skip around and look at the pictures and tell my dad that I read it. So, integrity is ensuring that I read the entire book and following instructions even when my mom and dad are not around to see it. I'm going to work more on doing this correctly. At least I'm honest about what I need to work on. So, little Jimmy, did you see or use integrity all this week? Yes, I did. Wow. First of all, give me some, bruh. That's good that you can recognize your own mistakes. That's very mm -hmm. difficult. But people like me, my eyes are always open, so I see everything about myself. I wish I could go to sleep sometime with my eyes closed, but, you know, that's that's another story. We'll do another show on that some other time. Some other time. Some other time on that. Mm -hmm. But, yes, um, there was some integrity that I had to do this week. And what it was is that there was a person that was in my studio, and they were recording, and they were doing horrible but when their back was turned and they weren't listening, I was telling the other people in the studio that they were doing horrible, but what I was telling them that was doing horrible is that they were doing good. And I don't think I was being honest with them. And as a person producing their music, I should have told them that they weren't doing that well and they could do better. And so after the session was over, I apologized to them and I told them what I did. Mm -hmm. So, of all the Heart of the Lion virtues, which is your favorite? All of them. I'm going to cheat on that one. I'm just letting you know right now. I'm being straight up. I like them all, bro. Rawr! I can growl. I'm good, bro. And that's our show, folks. I want to thank the one, the only, the amazing little Jimmy for being my special guest this week. It's I don't been... know who that little Jimmy is that you're talking about right there, but... Thank you for this little old guy being on your show. It has been so much fun talking with you today, and I look forward to maybe listening to more of your many songs. Well, definitely, man. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have my people come talk to your people, and then we're going to see what we can work out. Maybe we can do lunch, like get a fruit roll up in a juice box or something. But anyway, man, thank you again for letting me be on your show. I appreciate it. welcome. Cool. And be sure to listen to us next week on the Tiberius Show. Just Tiberius Bowl! The Tiberius Show is not filmed in front of a live studio audience. Executive producer, Joseph Boy. Production editor, Pierre Laguerre. Green Room manager, Danny Boy. Broadcast associate, James Smith. And your program host, Tiberius Boy! 
Tiberius Show is copyright 2018.